maybe maybe what I dreamed of is just that. It's just a dream. Life is like a basketball game. Sometimes you're up, other times you're down. Opponents and adversaries coming at you left and right. However, it's not the challenges you face that define you. What defines you is how you play the game. And I play to win. Welcome to my world, Carlton's World. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Carlton's World. It's your boy, Carlton C. Clay. Now, I actually was not planning on doing a podcast episode today, um, but I actually just felt led to do one because I've just been thinking about some things, particularly about a post that was in my memories on my face on my Facebook page. That was my memories today. And it just made me think about where I was then compared to where I was now, where I, where I am now, excuse me. And so this is what the post says. It says, we have become, this was six years ago. It says, we have become so desensitized as a people. Someone says they commit, also almost committed suicide. We think it's a joke. Someone says they're battling depression. We downplay it, play, downplay it like it's nothing. Someone says they're being bullied. We look the other way. Someone is killed, we brush it off like it doesn't matter. Someone loses their job and can't easily find another one, we call them lazy. Someone is having a rough day, we say get over it. Someone is trying to do something positive, we try to overburden them with the negative reasons of why he or she can't and shouldn't. It's just so much, it's too much. We have got to remove the hardness from our hearts and scales from our eyes and realize that people are hurting. People need support, people need love. If you're reading this and you need some encouragement, if no one else tells you I love you and I believe in you and I'm here and I'm willing to hear or listen for you, here for you and I'm willing to hear and listen to you. God is love people. And I saw that post again, I wrote that six years ago and it was just, I, and I wrote today, I said, I miss this person. Sadly, I've all, uh, sadly, I've allowed life to do a number on me and my view on life isn't as hopeful or as optimistic as it used to be. And um, and that's just my truth as far as where I'm at today. Just thinking about a lot of things. Um, like I'm not, I'm definitely not as optimistic as I once was. I'm not as hopeful or, or joyful about things. Or, or just about the future. Like I just, I'm, I'm sitting here, and even last night I was. Um, as I was getting ready to uh, leave work, and not that I'm complaining about my job, this has nothing to do with, you know, my job or anything, but just just life in general. I was listening to this song by Stacey Orico called uh, "More to Life." This is a throwback song, and I was like, "Yeah, there's got to be more to life." That's the lyrics. There's got to be more to life than chasing every temporary high um, to satisfy me. Um, and it's like, yeah, there's got to be. There's gotta be more to life. You just, you, you, it's like I wake up, like you wake up, right? And this, again, I'm just speaking for me. I can't speak for everybody, but it's like I wake up and it's like you're doing the exact same thing every day. It's like you wake up, you, you know, I wake up, do my, do my morning um, devotion, spend time with the Lord. Go do my workout routine or go walk either whatever day I'm supposed to, you know, if it varies from day to day what I'm going to do um, as far as going to the gym or going to just walk. And then, you know, get ready for work. You go to work. Then you come home. And then it's like in between that, you got bills. You got all these other responsibilities. I just got done paying my taxes. I was just talking about that. I was like, I, you know, it's just, I, I don't like this time of year because I was got you dealing with the taxes and all that stuff. It's just like, it's just, it just seems like you're always going through the same rigmarole of life. And I'm just like, there's got to be more than this. And I remember when I was younger, I remember being, even being in my 20s, I was like so excited about the future. I was like, yes, I am. I am excited about Cause at the time I was, you know, a young, hungry content creator, budding film. No, I wasn't doing films then, but I was uh, doing the, the the web series and everything. And I was just so hungry and excited about chasing that dream. It was like I was like, yes, I'm going to do whatever I can to make that dream a reality. 
And it's like now I am reaching 40. I know people, she, she, you know, I, I shouldn't, the people, I should still enjoy my 30s. I'm just 38. I'm 38. Um, but 40 is close. It's not, I can't sit here and act like 40 ain't around the corner because it is. Um, so I'm, I'm like now just like sitting here and I'm like, and I, and I, and I touched on this on another pod when I was talking about the retirement. I was like, do I really want to spend another 20 years doing this, hoping to one day have a dream be fulfilled, you know? And, 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 and I, and I, and I always, and I go back to even, um, you know, I've heard sermons about, you know, you shall, you know, you never know, you know, sometimes a lot of times people give up right when, um, right at the point where that door is about to open. Like you just, you, cause you can't see the future. You, you know, you can't, you know, we're not ravens up in here. We're not that, this ain't that's a raven. <laughs> um, a throwback for y'all who used to watch that story. But anyway, um, you can't see that you can't predict the future. And so we don't know what's ahead of us. And a lot of times it's like, you know, I've heard, you know, you hear people get, have given up right at the brink of when that moment was supposed to happen for them. But it's like, realistically speaking, I just want to be I'm kind of, I, if I can be real for a second, do I want to take that chance of take that chance of like, all right, the moment it could be right here, it it could be right here, or it could be it could be further, way further. I mean, you, like you just never know, or, or it could just or it could never be. I don't know. Like I said again, I just I'm at a point in my life where I'm just trying to constant. I'm I'm still in a I'm still trying to figure out exactly what i want to do i like i said i've already said i put the filmmaking down for for right you know i put the filmmaking down um you know it's but i'm still doing content of course i, I mean I'll, i'm always still gonna be do creative stuff um but it's like yeah i don't know i just don't know exactly i, I feel like i'm in a fog if that makes any sense I don't know if anybody's out there that can relate. Maybe I don't know. I just I just feel like I'm I, I'm just I guess I'm just tired of of, of wandering. I, I feel like I'm just wandering through life right now, and even in praying and asking for direction and just asking for guidance and everything, I still just kind of feel like I'm just I don't know just wandering that's the best the best word i can i can i can place for it i don't know i wrote a tweet yesterday and um i wrote a tweet yesterday because this is how i was feeling i was like i think i'm done done was trying to do things using a different creative outlook but it's not panning out like i wanted to maybe time for me to contemplate maybe time for me to completely hang it all up and just focus on the nine to five sometimes a dream is just that a dream and never in my life would i have thought i would be in that mindset like i again i was I, i've always i had always been the person that's like keep going for your dreams keep pushing keep fighting you know keep doing your thing keep going i'm always i've always been that person but now it's fine. I I finally be, it finally hit me that I've got to a place, sadly and unfortunately, that I'm like, well, maybe that's just what it was supposed to just be a dream. Maybe it just it just wasn't. It's not meant to be be what it is. Maybe it's not meant to be this grand thing that I imagined or thought or whatever. I don't know, you know. I'm not sure. I, and, and like I said, again, I had to be, I had to be honest with myself because it, it, it'd be easy for me to just be like, nah, that you're not thinking that. Don't worry about that. Just, you know, just act like it's not happening. No, these are my thoughts. This is what's really going on in my mind right now. Like I'm literally like, maybe, maybe what I 
dreamed of is just that. Just a dream. Maybe. I don't know. And it's like, when you're always like, the one that's encouraging people a lot of times it's like all right well who encourages the encourager you know what i'm saying so anyway this is just my thoughts i i just want i felt like this, this is what podcasting to me is about this is what it should be about i feel like i feel like it's it's a way it's a catharsis it's a way to really get your thoughts and emotions and stuff like yeah it's cool to do the fun stuff you know talk about tv shows or different things like that or I do the interviews those are always fun those are great to do but I also feel like it's a way to be personable and um share your thoughts and emotions and maybe you can connect with somebody who may be listening or watching and maybe that you can connect with somebody that can relate to you you know and they can you know help you I, I don't know I, just, I like I said I, I just I just really felt led to record this today that's why I really do no fancy thing I didn't I, I didn't do it on the fancy camera I didn't do my camera setup. I want. I just didn't do all that. I was. I was gonna record it on Zoom and let it be what it's gonna be. Um, because I really want people to really hear my heart on this, as far as just where I'm at, you know. And I, and it's crazy because again, I just got done um, meeting with somebody who helped me file my taxes, and they saw, of course, they saw that I was doing the filmmaking last year, and I was like, "Oh, you do films, man! I really." I really want to, I really want to talk to you about, you know, da, 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 da. And it's like, I feel like, I feel like I'm still, I, I, trapped is not a good word, but that's just the best word I can come up with on top of my head. I just feel like I'm still trapped in that world. Um, You know, even though I'm like, really not trying to be a part of that right now, at this point, I'm just like, I, cause again, I've, I've, I've voiced that I really want to explore other options and really just, figure out who I am outside of the filmmaking and all that stuff. And um, it's like, I still feel like I'm being held to that. If, you know, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm just, like I said, I just, I, I, I'm in, I'm in a, I'm in a year, or not I want to say year, I'm in a phase or a chapter where I'm just trying to figure it out. And maybe that's just what life is about. Maybe life is just about figuring it out. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But anyway, um, I don't want to keep rambling. But I just really wanted to take some time to kind of just get this out again. I said I, I, I wasn't intending to do a pod about I do a pod today. Um, but I got the mic. I got the you know I got the my I got I have the platform I said might as well just go ahead and do it if I'm this is how I'm feeling I might as well go ahead and just record it and again maybe maybe somebody out there can relate maybe you can help me I mean I don't I don't know um but but yeah so I appreciate you all taking the time out to listen um you know this is a rant this is a random random pod probably would be the, this probably would be the title of the, of the of the episode random but i feel like it was necessary and and much needed for me at least i feel like i was able to get some things off my chest and um you know just again have that catharsis that is much needed so again i appreciate y'all for listening and this has been another episode of crossing's world y'all have a good one peace